Today we're at Taman Kanat Night Market here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. There is over two kilometers of food and drink stalls here. So we are going to eat and drink until we cannot do that anymore. Let's, Let's go! go. So this market is only open on Wednesdays from 5 to about midnight but because it's only one night it gets really really packed here later around like 7 p.m. So we showed up right as it opened here at 5 o'clock. Not sure if it was a great idea because we're already sweating but as we always do we want to take our time and walk through everything first and see what there is to eat and what we want to pick for the night because I don't want to get to the end and miss out on something good. So we've been walking for about five minutes or so. We're fast walkers, we're sweating, but there's so many options. There's already so many things I know I want to eat. Lots of seafood options, lots of meat options, lots of bread and buns, fruit, drinks. Fried stuff. Fried, so <laughs> much fried stuff. There's lots of shopping too. There's clothes, there's jewelry, there's plants. I just saw some pest killers back there. Pest killers? Yeah, it was like a little table with like pesticides and I was like, okay. I'm getting geared up yeah. <laughs> to get it's eating. It's already so hot here, like we're already sweating so bad. Ooh. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like at seven to nine when it's like- it's Supposed to be busy. Yeah, apparently it gets just shoulder to shoulder in here. Okay, we got fish balls because we love fish balls and it was 16 of them for six ringgit. Definitely didn't need 16 fish no. balls, but that's how they came. Mm. Not very strong in flavor. No, they're just right. Mm -hmm. They were stewing them, boiling them on these pots that were just steaming. They looked so good. They caught our eye on the first round, mm -hmm. again on the second round, and then the third time we're like, and the third time we were like, let's do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh, that was a bad feed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yum. It also comes with this curry. Yeah, it's not just fish balls, it's like in the curry. Mm. Oh, that's even good on its own. Is that? Mm. I love fish balls. I can eat fish balls all day. Oh, that it has like a fishy taste in the, uh, mm. the, uh, the broth. Yeah, it's like salty and savory enough but it doesn't take away from the fishiness of the fish ball. Mm. So it's like a really nice combination. It's like as I'm eating, I can smell the stinky tofu. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. So I'm like, yeah, you, it's throwing me off. <laughs> you get a bit more breeze at these tables, but the breeze comes with the smell of stinky tofu. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else we can find out there. Meantime, we'll finish these fish balls. Mm -hmm. And keep looking. We found some dumplings. You can choose your own. Up six pieces for eight ringgit. I wanted a crispy shrimp pancake type of a thing that I had been eyeing. It was three ringgit. But at the same spot, they had these dumplings of all kinds. And I love dumplings at uh, dumpling spots. And this was a small box of six for eight ringgit. So I was like, well, that just sounds better. And I got all different kinds. Don't ask me what they are. It was a mix of tom yum, shrimp and chives, shrimp and yam. And then he asked if he wanted hot sauce on it and I said, yes. Tom yum, shrimp, mm-hmm. The coating is soft and gooey. A little thick for my liking, but still delicious. Shrimps? No spicy dried shrimps. Oh, fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Went from like minimal flavor to maximum. That was really good. Like, I'm surprised you got that one. Mm. It's that dried shrimp that they put in sauces and stuff. But it's really nicely seasoned. That yeah, dried it's shrimp. really good with the sauce. It's like a curry almost. I'm really impressed with the variety of flavors in this one. It was mm -hmm. really really distinct each one mm -hmm. all right what's next so it just started thundering and there's lightning and the clouds are getting a little darker no, 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 no. <laughs> i really hope i really hope it skips us but i don't know this side is blue skies that side is dark skies we're in the middle we're far from home i don't know if you can hear that so i don't know i don't know what happens when it starts pouring here and all these people need to find shelter 
So on that note, we're gonna try and uh, do a speed round of food. Doing pretty good so far. We got some fried jackfruit, we got a skewer of meat, and we got some sushi looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we might be in the clear. I'm not sure. The dark clouds are over here, and the light clouds are coming back towards us, but we're not taking any chances. We got um, three food items just in case it started pouring rain and we had to take shelter. I've never seen this before. There's lots of little like saute and skewer stands um, with your typical sausages and fish balls and things like that. But this one I've never seen before. It just looks like a pepperoni, I guess, or a salami, but it's fried and barbecued, so it looked good to me. Mm. Ooh. Sweet, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dense, really sweet. Not like a pepperoni where it just kind of falls apart. This one takes some chewing. It's really good. I really like it. How about you? These skies are so <laughs> scary. <laughs> mm. It's like a giant, imagine a giant Taiwanese sausage, but sweeter. I don't know if I love it. Too sweet for me, for me. Meat should be savory. It's all you. I like it. Okay, so this one we had to try. Deep fried jackfruit. If you've been watching our Thailand series, we love jackfruit. Oh, and it smells like deep fried jackfruit, like a jackfruit fritter. They were selling them in bigger sizes, but we were like, oh, uh, that's okay because it was like big boxes but then the guy I think because of the rain he was like well how many do you want I was like we just wanted two to try he was like go ahead and, and so he sold us just two which was great so we got the rain discount oh my god it's like seed and all I think that's so interesting it's like literally just a whole deep fried jackfruit. They didn't even de-seed it. Let me get the seed out and show you. Ooh, look. Oh. That was in the middle. So if you're gonna eat this, make sure you just bite you don't bite all the way through. But hmm. It's very yummy. Hmm, wow. you see? The stringiness of the jackfruit. I'm glad she said that because I absolutely would have just put this whole thing in my mouth. really unique. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's like um you got that oily deep fried batter coating. Classic flavor. And then you got the sweet jackfruit. That's really good. I will say though, it's tasty, but it's no match for just fresh jackfruit as is. I would never trade that. But that was an experience. They also had durian and other fruits, but I'd stick with the fresh. Okay, we have no idea. I've never seen this before. I even forget what it's called. Um, seaweed sushi popia? Popaya? Popaya? Popaya, popia. Let me know how to actually say it in the comments. But yeah, there were like several stalls of these and people were lining up for them. So we were like, and it's uh, fully vegetarian. So some sort of um, getting our veggie fix. It smells seaweedy, I love seaweed. Full of veggies. We got the original. And that's what was recommended, but it's not very strong in taste. I'm glad we tried it, but I don't know if I'd get it again. Hmm. Has a bit of a sushi flavor. Right away you got a nice little flavor, but then it kind of fades off. It'd be like a nice snack, but I wouldn't want it for like a dinner. Yeah. Or like a palate cleanser almost. Mm. Yeah. Which is exactly what we needed because it's dessert and drink time. Woo! -hoo! Come on, get the sweets. Let's go! Wow, look at the line for this one. It must be good. Just 
looks like a pancake, but it must be really good. Linda spotted this one probably an hour ago. She's been thinking about it. Thai green milk tea time. <laughs> one you can have forever and one you'll remember forever. Whoa. Whoa. They're attacked by a shirt sign. The moment you've been waiting for all night. <laughs> oh, it's good. We didn't say less sweet or anything. So it's quite sweet, but it's very good. The green milk tea taste coming through. One tip, bring a garbage bag or a yeah. backpack or something because there's not really any garbage bins here. People seem to be leaving some trash around in different spots but we want to find a actual garbage bin and not just throw our stuff around. Alright. All right. I didn't even stir it, I just went for it and it was so good. Yum! It's really good, right? Yeah. Very refreshing, very cold. Green milk Perfect. tea. Just what we needed. You can take us out of Thailand, but you can't take Thailand out of us. <laughs> <laughs> treacherous run of this night market. It is now 7 30. We've spent hours here. What the heck? We've been here hours. Uh, we're on a dessert hunt and we're at one end of the market. We're gonna go all the way to the other end in the busiest time of the night and see what we can find. The lightning is striking. The subway's over there. Home stretch. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Let's do it. moving so slow but by some grace we as it was getting the hottest and the slowest this dessert that we saw earlier in the day showed up souffle pancake with boba cream we made a choice yeah 12 ringgit in my mouth good night <laughs> she's dancing not bad. The cream that they put on top is too sweet for me, but the souffle pancake consistency is not bad for just doing it like that. And there's two types of bobas, like the white one and the black one. Mm. And they're both chewy, like they're, it's good boba. The bobas are fun, the cream sauce is nice, but like I could almost eat that uh, pancake all by itself, maybe with just some butter. Ooh, or some, some butter. Kaya butter. Kaya butter. We thought we were only gonna get one. Mm. And then he goes and stacks two on there. Oh, it was so beautiful watching him make it though. They were just like steaming them and it was a, quite a long wait, but. You know what? I've tried making these souffle pancakes at home before and it is not easy. You have to like add water to it, steam it. You can't overcook it because then it gets hard on the outside, dry on the inside. So it is a science. Like if you've had souffle pancakes, they're not um, always the right texture, but this is actually, again, really good for just on a griddle in a night market. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Yeah, we still have about a, a kilometer of stalls to go, so you never know what'll happen before and the night's And the rain over. never came. Yeah, we got so lucky. How exciting is that? Like, it, like, was giving us warnings and made us buy things real quick, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it never came, so that's so nice. Also for the vendors, right? It's once a week. And imagine it started pouring and you get yeah. rained out. That'd be so horrible. So I'm glad the rain yeah. held off. We that, made it to the end. <laughs> that was so much fun. Honestly, we came super early before five o'clock. It was really hot. I would recommend coming later. I know that sounds counterintuitive and yeah. not what you would think and not what you think we'd say. Yeah. But after seven, it got busy, but all the vendors were out cooking everything came alive so anyways we had a great time it's totally worth the trip um, whether it's taking the subway or 
getting a grab or something like yeah. it's outside of the city but yeah totally yeah. worth the trip yeah but anyways if you enjoyed eating with us um please do subscribe and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye. that stall is selling hot dogs